Hello, welcome to Straw Family Farm Take Two. I'm Christy. Uh, in the chapel, yet a little while, and the world will see me no more. Yet you will see me, because I live, therefore you shall live also. John 14, 19. Yes, it is Easter. I am super excited about that. You know, it's a renewal time um, at the farm. Back in the day, we would have been birthing lambs, but I, I really do miss that. I miss the lambs and the goats giving birth. Um, when I get set and retire, I'm going to have at least one goat, and I'm going to do the milking and the birthing. I'll have a billy and two nannies. That's it. And so, yeah, I've already planned that part out. So <laughs> life changes, but I will have something. Anyway. All right, totally hooked. Now, let me just say this first. I am using, it, it's not a new camera. It's a new program. So the program itself, they said, could deplete the colors. And so they said it's not that my laptop is not doing it. It's just that's the program that came on my laptop. So I'm trying a new one. And I have played a little bit and to see. And I like the way they represent the colors better. So I do have a totally hooked. So back to where I was at. Totally hooked. The Geo out of timeout, off the hook, and just needs the ends wove in. And I love it. It is awesome. It's amazing. Um, super soft um, wool. Yeah. And I do think that it shows the colors on this a whole lot better than it did on the other one. So I just have the ends to weave in. I did leave it split. I like the bottoms not to be so confining because I do have a little bit of a tummy and I don't like it to pull against my tummy so I left the bottoms open instead of stitching it all the way down so that it's got a little split and it won't be binding across my tummy so a um, couple other little modifications in there but nothing that you know can't be done so that one just has to have the ends woven. in um, the purple one, I brought it out just because I want to see if the color would show up a little bit better. It does show a little better, but it still has that gray hue to it in the camera, and it doesn't have that at all. It, it's pinks, purples, you know. This right here almost looks white, and it's not. It's pink. It, it's almost a mauve purple pink. So anyway, I just wanted to say that I haven't worked on it at all. Um, so, yeah. It's thicker and it's harder to do when it's warmer. So, just my preference. I did get the um, art bat off the wheel. And let me see if I can get as much color. There we go. Okay. I did it thick and thin. This is a little bit thicker than I'm used to working with. But I already have the scarf that is intended for this. It's one of those long scarves and then I started the hat and it's just going to be um square whip stitch it in the back and then you got that so it's just going to kind of probably be a beanie type of hat so I've got this much left and then I've got this much and that's the darker part so yeah I'm liking the way it works up at first I wasn't real happy with it you know me and and art bats i'm not an artsy bat kind of person but i do like this it's super soft it's worked up real great um and of course it's looking pretty good so we'll see how the hat turns out uh i do have one other project but i don't have it and it is totally hooked but not really so it is easter and I had Krista Tuesday, and we wanted to do something for Easter, and so we did her Easter basket, not like, because I won't have her for Easter. Um, we did her Easter basket, we ate, and then we were going to do something craftsy. So what we came up with was this little thing, and this is something, this is not my original idea or anything, this is just something... I've known about it since the kids were little, we've made them in the past. I, I don't know where the idea came from. It is not mine. 
I don't know. I think my grandma made some, but I don't think it was her idea. I'm pretty sure it's probably all over the internet. Nowadays, it's probably all over the internet. But anyway, so it's just, and when you take, it's an egg holder, and you make them the size of whatever egg. We made smaller ones because that's the eggs we had, but pretty much it's just whatever yarn you have, make it big enough to cover your egg, and then stitch up, and then halfway through you make the head. This is a little piece of felt. We just folded ours and cut little triangles. Um, and then this, none of them match. They're just combs and we did it whatever. And then glued on googly eyes. Um, my googly eyes are not as big as these. I don't even know where this chicken came from. I will tell you the trick to making it look like a chicken is to put the narrow end of the egg near the rear. And then it has the perfect body shape. And it'll just sit there. So, chicks, we made four of these. Not that we planned that out. It's just how many we had time for. So, um, Krista helped me with the felt stuff and the eyes. I did the crocheting. Then, because I had four, there was four, um, there's four vet techs at our office. And so, we'd had a bad day. I put fake eggs in them and I took them to work. And I just left a note in the back treatment area that says, for our excellent techs, take one home. And then I signed it, Christy and Krista. Well, one of the doctors came in and she saw one of the techs, uh, Easter egg, or Easter chick, okay? And she's like, where's mine? <laughs> and so, and she's very much a farm girl. So there are four in her family, and um, I've just dug this out of some stuff that I was doing, and we're going to do, I'm going to try and get them done today so that they have them for Easter. She has two children, so I at least want to get two done. Um, her children are a boy and a girl, so I'll probably do a pink and a blue. Um, but then I had white and purple, so mom and dad can take whatever colors. Maybe dad can take white and mom can take purple and then the little girl and the little boy. I don't know, but I am going to work on those. They don't take very long to um, whip up, so I'm just going to go with it and see if I can get those done today. If I don't get them done, it is what it is, you know, because she was like, where's mine? And... Uh, she just thought they were the most adorable things. She actually took one of the tags and was showing it to our customers. And the customers were like, oh, my God, I need some of those. And I'm like, oh, my gosh. So now, um, Friday, tomorrow, I'm going to take some stuff. And I'm going to teach one of the girls up there. She is just in love with them. And she wants to learn to make them. And so we are going to keep, <laughs> I guess, at lunch, have some crochet lessons on just how to make chicks, not how she knows how to crochet or she crocheted when she was little. She's got the basic idea. So those are actually off the hook and gone. And Chris and I just had fun doing it. And to me, that's what learning this craft is all about. Just keep it fun. Now, I also, and I know I said I wasn't going to, but I couldn't help it. I, I just couldn't. Um, so I uh, was in Hobby Lobby and, and I got the felt and this uh, two things is what I went in for. I just needed a sheet of felt. Okay, one yellow and one red for craftsy stuff. While I was there, Hobby Lobby was having a 30% off sale. I couldn't help it. So I got this and it's, I, I don't know, it's just amazing. And then I got this. Now in these, there is, it says 600 yards, 630 yards. So each ball, I'm sure, you know, there's 110 yards each. But here's the deal, guys, and, and I want to show you that I got these. So these right here were $7.99. I got them for 30% off, so I got them for $5.59. And this is what roommate did not realize is, okay, I got that for $5.59, and I got this for 
I can whip out one of those shawls, the um, virus shawl, in about five hours, maybe six, not all sitting down at once, but just along the lines. And I can whip one of those out in about five hours, you know. So my materials are only $5.59, and the rest of it is my time. Because I give them as gifts, I don't really count for my time. So the only thing it's costing me is the $5.59, and I have an amazing gift for $5.59. And something for me to do in my spare time. So I know that's not the right way to look at it, but it is, if you ask me what they're worth, they're priceless to me. But five hours of my time, hour here, hour there, it literally takes me just days crocheting in the evening to have these two done. Now, the question is, is, and I don't, I don't know. So I got something else and this was, let's see here. I got these for $4.19. I got two of these. One I've already started. I'll show you here in a minute. But I got this. And it's just cotton. And there are 335 yards. My issue right now is figuring out how many yards I'm going to use to make the, the shawls. Okay. So either if each one of these cakes makes one shawl. And I've kind of drag this one around <laughs> it's, it's falling apart but um i just drag it from there to there so i've got four dollars and 19 cents in this one and i've already started and i'm this far along my question is is will it be big enough the way i want it with 335 yards if not i will use that other ball and just instead of center pulling it, I will do it from the outside up. So wherever this one ends, it looks like this one's going to end with the purple start to the pink. And then I will start with the pink to the center, if that makes sense. I just reverse them. Um, and that way it kind of fades in and fades out with some consistency. So I don't even have this one in a bag. But the... At this point, I don't know if I'm going to have $4.19 in it or $8.38 in it. Either way, for less than $10, I will have an amazing gift to give. And I have my craft, my pastime, just for fun. Okay? So, if I sell, I always make sure I get the materials back out of it. And I do get something for my time, but not always what... I put into it um, but so I did buy those and these right here um, this is 300 if you divide it out because it's 630 yards so each one of these is going to be 105 yards if 300 yards makes the shawl I will make two shawls I will just divide the colors so, I don't think so. I think I'm going to have like the $5.59 in one. And then I probably will use both of these for the shawl. Because I think I use four, five, or 600 yards. I, I couldn't find the yarn that I used before. So, I don't know. But these are my treasures from Hobby Lobby. Now, the other thing that I've decided is, every, I see everybody else doing it. I'm going to get on Hobby Lobby and see if I can't get coupons so that I get paid Friday. I want to go back, and they had such a supply of these. It just, I mean, and you can tell right now I'm kind of on the peachy thing. I, I did the peach and the pink kind of thing. I don't know why. But this peach is what made me get this. That's my favorite color in the entire world. And they say that I look really good in it. But And there was also peach in that other one. But so each of these, and I'm the one that slept this off, okay? I've been squishing them, and <laughs> I damn me too. But yeah, so that I've been sloughing off myself. But these two right here, and I'm not sure I like that, but I like those three together and maybe those three together. So we'll see if those, you know, 
Um, if I have to use the whole thing, I'll use this whole thing together. And then if I have to use the whole thing, I'll... But I might go back. They had such an array of these. And for $5.59 to have 600 yards, and, and it's, I, I don't know. This one's called Goodness Grapefruit, and this one is called Lavender da Days. So, yeah, I might go back and get some more of these. Uh, and if I can find a coupon, you bet your butt I'm going to use it. So, all right. That's my treasure. That's what I've started. Doing the, the little chicks. Just little stuff. Um, now, in the dye pots, of course, I don't have anything. On the wheel, I finished that and have not started anything else. I want to get that done. I still have the gray on Miss Kitty. And that gray is now on Big Bertha, too. So I'm slowly working across that old gray that was back from Christmas time. And when I get that done, then I have that other fiber that I'm going to start. And I have the fleece that I'm doing a consignment thing on. So, yeah, I got a lot of things going on. But anyway, in the field, I tilled two strips and I bought some plants. And the first plants that I bought, I was so proud. I got them planted in pots and containers and then it froze. And I was I was so proud of myself. I was a good girl. I went out and I put skewers over the plants and then I put a big sheet over the grow tower and I put um, covers on the two that are, were out front and I moved all the others in. I was like, I am so ready. There's five plants outside exposed, but I've got them covered. The frost still got them. Um, yeah. I was kind of disappointed. So I went and picked up some more. There's a nursery right up the street and they were having their big open house sale and I picked up some more and I have not planted them yet because last night, again, it froze. Everybody tells me after the Ides of March, March 15th is when the potatoes go in or March 17th or whatever. Yeah, this is April. And we're working on April 15th. So I had one lady tell me, and she says it has nothing to do with anything that anybody's ever told her. But she said that she always planted after tax day because she's a CPA and she didn't have time to do it before that. So she says she's never had a problem, but her deadline is the 15th. And then she takes the 16th and she'll start her garden and all that, but she doesn't actually get the plants in until, you know, a few days later. So she says, I don't even start my garden until April 15th, which, and, and I asked her, I said, does that ruin your growth? She said, no. She says, I still get crop. I still get, you know, she's, I'm probably not as efficient as a farmer. She says, but I get enough for me and my house. And I thought that's, you know, kind of a good rule of thumb. I can remember that the tax day got it, you know? So yeah. All right. In RJ's world, um, you know, he's down here, got stuff done. So, Odie, the little dog that he got from Glenn that was dumped at Glenn's house, um, was fixed Monday because he started to roam. So, he got all his shots, got fixed. Um, Monday, RJ got a call to go and help at the Tulsa sale. So, Monday, the dog was up at the office and he couldn't get back to get him before six. So at 10 o'clock at night, I ran back to the office, got the dog out because RJ was driving past and he didn't want to have to drive back and forth, back and forth. So at um, 10 o'clock at night, I went and got Odie out of the office. I didn't bring him here because he's a great Pyrenees and I only have a four foot privacy fence or not privacy fence, chain link fence. That's not going to hold him. And the barbed wire, he can go right through that so he could get out on the highway if he didn't stay in the fence it, it it was just a chance i didn't want to take so i left him at the office and i went up at 10 o'clock got him out sent him home with rj he's doing fine so um rj sent me a picture of the incision for follow-up 
he will be back around May. I'll take him back in and get him vaccinated again and get everything boosted. And then he should be good. Um, I don't know of anything else that that dog really needs because he's on heartworm prevention, flea and tick prevention, the whole works. Um, but yeah, RJ was working up there, just kind of rodeoing around here. Um, it is what it is. We're getting, I did take some time, you know, this, I guess we're just going right on into the farmhouse because I did take some time and I, I put, I don't have a ton of spring, um, or Easter decorations, but I did put them all out this year. Last year I didn't decorate or do anything for Easter. It, it's, depends on when it is. It's kind of gets to be a hard time for me because I do miss the lambing and I do miss what spring used to be and this year I'm doing better with it so I decorated the kids are coming down um, Sunday there's a big rope at Easter Sunday and so Saturday the kids are gonna come down and we all decided that I'm not gonna do like a big feast I'm just gonna make a pan of lasagna which the kids love and then I'm going to do some garlic bread and I'm going to bake a cake and I've got fresh fruit that I've frozen it now because I like that syrupy. Yeah. So fruit with whipped cream on it. So cake, fruit, and whipped cream, and then Italian. And I still did buy them a little candy. I can't help it. I, I realize that my daughter's 30 something and that my son is 20 something and that they don't need an Easter basket and that they know the Easter bunny only comes to kids um but as mom i still want to get them a little something and since the easter bunny doesn't come anymore i figured it's a nice thing to do so i will probably always i got roommate a little easter basket too <laughs> i like spring i like easter i love the whole season of it i love the whole meaning of it um yeah, it's hard for me to deal with because I do love it so much, but I probably love, um, probably love the spring more than I love Christmas. I do feel that the resurrection is more important than his birth. So, yeah. Anyway, so that's going on today. I'm just doing some cleaning, some laundry. I have worked all week. Thursday is my only day off this week until the weekend and Saturday. So last week, um, if you remember, one of the girls from the office and I were going to go skating. And then she had an incident happen. She couldn't go. So anyway, that's going to happen this Saturday. So this Saturday, I am going to wear myself out. I'm going to go ice skating with her in the morning, come home. I will have the lasagna already ready and just put it in the oven. And then the kids are coming at six o'clock and we'll do our little Easter. And Sunday, I will probably do church and then take the rest of the day off. So, it is what it is. Oh, oh. But, oh, the ducks. The ducks are doing amazing, too. I still have three ducks. Uh, there is something. There's another bird getting its eggs. And so, I try to run down there. And I, for the first time, Tuesday, first time since I've had them, I didn't go and check on them and I didn't feed them that night. There is enough food and vegetation and small fish and all that stuff out there at that pond for them. I by no means am starving them, but I want them off the corn when spring and summer hits so that they can just be ducks on the pond. I just want them to be ducks as ducks are intended to be. So I'm working on it. Um, last night I did run down though. I went one night without checking them one day and it was Tuesday. I worked that morning. Then I had to go get Krista. Then we did our stuff in here. And by the time I got her back home and came back here, um, it was dark. So I really couldn't, um, get down there to check on them and feed them. So it's the first time in almost a month that they have 
been left to their own accord. My next step is to start every other night. So I did go down there last night. It was super cold last night. So I fed them corn, which generates heat for them. Um, just them digesting corn generates heat. So that keeps them warm, gets them through. And it's not sub-zero weather. It's just frosty. I think it was 34, 42, 40, you know, right in there. And so they're doing wonderful. Um, but I am trying to get to where I'm just going every other day. So I went last night, so I'm thinking I won't go today. That means I'll lose the egg, but we'll see. She's still laying on the edge of the pond, and I still have to get my hand soaking wet to get it out of the, the water. But anyway, so it is what it is. We're getting ready for Easter and got lots of projects that I'm doing. I will let you know the yardage on those virus shawls and see how much, if you can get... You know, and this, I, I didn't mention it. Um, this right here is, uh, what is it made of? I don't know what it's made of. Uh, and of course, it really doesn't say whether it's wool or acrylic. Nope, it just says 630 yards. Um, oh, there we go. 60% acrylic, 20% wool. Can't even read what that is. Probably should have gotten my reading glasses out. But anyway, so this one has wool and acrylic. This is cotton, though. Um, I'm pretty sure this is cotton. Um, yeah, 97% cotton and 3% metallic polyester, and that's because it's got the shimmer in it, which I like. So we'll see how many, how much yardage it takes on each of these. And I'll let you know how many I get out of it. But like I said, for less than 10 bucks, can't go wrong with that. So, and I like doing them. So my time is like, pff, it's just my time that I'm not even losing TV time. <laughs> you know, so anyway. All right, well, I'm going to get off of here. You guys have a great Easter or spring solstice or whatever it is that you call. Um this renewing time of year enjoy it get out plant something watch something grow make something whatever you can do to celebrate your spring renewal um get out there and do it okay and i'm gonna put all y'all in on the prayer list just i always do it's like yeah i will keep everybody in our prayers so i will talk at y'all later and hopefully this video with this um, program will be so much nicer, so much brighter, and you can see the colors better. So let me know what you think, and I will talk to you all later. Happy Easter, guys. Thanks for watching.